Hi friends, it's been officially one month since I moved to New York and it has honestly flown by. I am still very much adjusting to my new lifestyle out here where each day in New York feels so dynamic with endless possibilities and it's easy to be swept up in the excitement of it all. But I've made it a goal to take it one thing at a time, so join me in navigating this new life chapter. Hi friends, happy Friday. It is a beautiful sunny day today, but I feel like this entire week has been incredibly busy. I feel like I have just been running around from work to school to social events. And so I'm just gonna take a chill today and just work from home. Um, also get some chores done like grocery shopping and I don't know if you guys can tell from my voice But I think I'm getting slightly sick and this was just a sign to me that I need to rest and slow down I do have a happy hour later tonight that I'm going to with some business school classmates But besides that I'm really just not gonna do anything today <laughs> I'm done with work and I just got ready to head out to the happy hour. I also have to run an errand to exchange something at a store so we're gonna do that as well but I want to show you guys my New Yorker tote because it is so cute. I'm excited to head out. I'm feeling a little better and I just feel like I haven't stepped outside all day besides grocery shopping so we're gonna head out now. <laughs> to the happy hour spot which is only like a 10 minute walk away hi friends we are doing another cozy catch-up but i am feeling a lot better today i feel like the past couple days my body has been at its breaking point for a number of reasons i think first of all the ac and just the offices and classrooms I don't know why, but they always blast it in the summer. I think it's also been a combination of just the physical stresses of moving to new city. Also, I feel like my lifestyle has changed drastically since moving here in terms of the pace of my life. And so I've been trying to slow down and take some time at home to rest. Also, now that I've been here for one month in New York, one thing I've been noticing is that there is so many new things to do every day in New York. There's so many opportunities and so it's really easy to spread yourself thin. It almost feels wasteful sometimes to let those opportunities slip through your fingers. And so I feel like that's why everyone here is doing a lot all the time. I've been also reflecting on really making sure that I have my priorities because it's really easy to get so swept up in a lot of different projects and things I want to do. So I've been taking these couple of days to really sit down and think about what I want to prioritize in the next couple months of being in this new city and I've come up with two priorities. The first is just finding a balance with work and school and YouTube and everything. I feel like there's a bunch of things I want to do but I've been really trying to remind myself to take it one thing or one day at a time. I also feel like balance in life is not what we always imagine it to be. It's not like a perfect split like 50-50 or 
a perfect amount of time and effort to each part but i feel like it's more like one week it'll look like a lot more school and one week it'll look a lot more like work and then the second goal is getting plugged into a church community out here for me that is personally something that helps me be really grounded in general in life is being plugged into a community and a church so that's also my other priority but i feel like having these goals really helps you move with purpose and intention especially in navigating a new life chapter where there might be a lot of things you want to try so for me it's been really helpful just to set a couple of goals that i want to work on for the next couple of months and then once I'm more settled into the city I can set new goals but that is it for my TED talk tonight so I'll talk to you guys later it's good it's giving <laughs> yeah. like I haven't had time this whole week to do any exercise so I decided to kick off my day with a run and honestly it was pretty tough. I feel like I'm just not a morning runner because your body is like so stiff in the morning and so I was going at a very embarrassingly slow pace and only could run like a mile before I was like done but you know the point is consistency so i'm so glad i did it but i'm back home i'm about to start my work day and i'm actually gonna cut up some kimchi because my mom ordered me a bunch of korean food from an online korean seller which was really nice of her there is not really a lot of good big korean marts at least in manhattan um, so it's a lot harder to grocery shop here for Korean food and I feel like the selection is not that good either So I'm just gonna cut this up and put it in a Tupperware I feel like every week is a new adventure where so much happens I think the nice thing about living in New York is that a lot of friends will come by and visit So I've had a lot of friends in the city and I feel like in a big city like New York a lot of people come out here and live out here so i've actually been able to reconnect with a lot of old college friends which has also been really nice and tonight i'm also meeting up with some college friends who i haven't caught up with in a while honestly since college but i'm really excited to see them and just knowing that there's people you can reconnect with in the city i feel like makes it a lot easier to to just transition into a new life chapter and environment. I also forgot to mention, but this is green onion kimchi or pa kimchi, and this is like my favorite type of kimchi, but I'm just cutting it up into bite-sized pieces. I also feel very thankful for just some new friends that I've been able to meet as well, whether it was through getting connected through someone or through grad school. I think it's always cool being able to connect with someone in a totally different life chapter and city and kind of experience like the human experience is universal like no matter where you are which coast you're on okay guys we're gonna try one Hi guys, so I just finished work and got ready for dinner, but before we head out, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Merit Beauty. They were really kind to give this to me, but this is their holiday lipstick set, so I thought I would swatch these and also choose a color to wear out for tonight. The first one is Dujour. This is more of a muted, neutral color. The second is more of this really dark berry color, and the third is more of a vibrant kind of raspberry color. I think I'm leaning towards the neutral for today's look actually really love the formula it is incredibly buttery i am honestly not a big lipstick person just because i feel like it can get really drying but this formula is actually super smooth and buttery on your lips so i am very pleasantly surprised i'm gonna take this with me in my bag and we're gonna head out now to brooklyn <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's not 
off focusing. Oh my gosh, guys, someone's getting proposed to. 